So I talked about how Kyle Kalinske from Secular Talk is going on the Joe Rogan podcast, which is really awesome because, of course, the Joe Rogan podcast is a huge podcast. And, you know, having a leftist libertarian on there will definitely help spread the, you know, ideas of leftist libertarianism and also kind of give more to a movement online and on YouTube. But you're going to be seeing here uh, Kyle talk to Corin about his uh, upcoming appearance on Joe Rogan's podcast, even giving a date, February 27th at 11 a.m., uh, is when he is going to be on the show. So he's going to be going all the way to California because that is where uh, the Joe Rogan podcast takes place is in California. And I don't think they do, like, Skype. Like, they say, like, come in here. We want to do, like, the podcast in person. So he's going to be going over there. He's also going to be talking about some other stuff about how, you know, he was really shocked about how Joe Rogan, um, about how Joe Rogan, you know, actually DM'd him and how he actually was able to get on because he thought that, you know, if he were to be on the show, he would have already been on it already. But this is really awesome, man, because it's not only going to go grow his show, but also, you know, the audience for leftist libertarianism on YouTube, period. And Jimmy Dore's also going on February 13th. And um, hopefully David Packman can get on as well. So it's just really awesome to see, man. Check out the clip here. Oh, well, let's do Joe Rogan, son. Joe Rizzy Rizzy Rogan. Um, Wild. You sent me that shit, man. That, I that was what's up. No, see, I, I was, uh, I had clicked on a video. I was on YouTube watching something, and mm -hmm. the video came up on the sidebar, and it was a short clip of Rogan's show with Steven Crowder. Now, I'm mm -hmm. not a Steven Crowder fan, obviously, but I was like, it was a short video, so I was like, let me just check it and see. He's a conservative? It. Yeah, very, oh, okay. very conservative. Like, very <clears throat> doctrinaire, down the line, right winger. Um, mm -hmm. So I clicked on it. It was only like a 10 minute video. And in the video, Steven Crowder, um, or Joe Rogan asks Steven Crowder in all, in all earnesty, like he was genuinely curious what the answer was. He was mm -hmm. like, Hey, like who are the, the popular left wing, uh, YouTube posts? And Steven Crowder basically was like, I don't know. Yeah. Crickets. He's, he's not watching that shit. He, well, he he knows of me. He's been mm -hmm. trying to get me to go on his show for a long time. Um, oh, seriously? Yeah. What does um, he just want to debate you on shit? Like, yeah, he's one of those guys who's like, uh -huh. come on and I'll berate you. Um, yeah. And, you know, so Joe asked and then he said, I really don't know. And then I saw that and I was a little annoyed by that because, no, you do know, Steven. Like, you could have said my name. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure he knows of other ones. I'm sure he knows of David Pakman. And some other ones. And I think they were talking about the Young Turks. And so and so Joe was asking who other than Jenk is a big left-wing YouTube post. Mm -hmm. And so I just saw that and I was like, I'm just going to tweet at Joe and answer his question and give him not just my show, which yeah, I that did. Was, that was what's up, that you put other people on that shit too, man. Yeah, because those, those a lot of people don't do that. Hosts. Yeah, those are popular hosts. They have an, a, a decent following for sure. So yeah. I said, hey, uh, Joe, you know, there's my show, Secular Talk, which is a left-wing show on YouTube. And then, you know, there's Jimmy Dore. Uh, there's David Pakman. And, and I, listed, this shit. I listed a few others, however many I listed. Mm -hmm. And then um, I sent it. And then I didn't, I didn't expect to hear anything back because everybody knows that, you know. I thought if I was going to get on his show, I would have gotten on his show already by now. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't really expect to hear back from him, but it was like the next day he, he had DM me. I'm like, whoa, what? I yeah. was like, holy shit. I was surprised. That, that was my reaction when you sent me that shit too because I, I didn't see the tweet. I haven't been really uh, on Twitter. My reaction was like, shut the fuck up. Like, yeah, was... I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And so – um. <clears throat> He said that he had seen a video of mine uh, that he liked where it was I was talking about fundamentalist Christians who were talking about Trump. And they were it was like a right wing watch clip where the the fundamentalist Christians were really ridiculous. And they were mm -hmm. saying how like Trump's a believer now and he wasn't a believer before, but he believes in Jesus now. Oh, my God. And they were acting like I don't have a past anymore because I accepted Jesus. How about you? And they were just saying ridiculous things. And so I broke it down in the video. And so. So he watched that video. He watched that video. He liked that video. He, he told me, oh, I really enjoyed that. And then he said, um, let's set something up. I was like, okay. That's just dope. <laughs> you tell me. And then he said, uh, the date for everybody, I think it's the 24th, right? 27th? 
I like how I forgot already. <laughs> I just want to give everybody the date so they know. Let me see if I can find it. You show up on the wrong date. You're like, it was good. <laughs> He's like, sorry, we don't have you on today, Kyle. We have Bill Gates today. Yeah. I'm like, what? I think that's what people respect about him so much. It's just he's down to earth and like, you know, there's no like, well, there's no barriers. Well, it's that's just exactly, like, I like this guy. I'm going to talk to him. That's exactly what I appreciated so much is that he, he's the only person I've ever dealt with who was like, okay, here's the date. Here's the time. Yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, all right. I, there we go. That's fine. And by the way, for everybody, it is February 27th at 11 a.m. 